You know, since last fall, we've been hearing Dan talk about excitedly about a weather satellite called the Gozar. Right, when it launched into space in November, Dan got a special invitation from NASA to be there. And he's here now to tell us more about the satellite, what makes it so special. And Dan, this is called the GOES-16. That's right. It got a number instead of a letter once it was sent into orbit. And now the GOES-16 is being checked out. A new era in weather forecasting is just about to begin. Let me tell you, it was quite a sight, and for we meteorologists, it was a heart-stopping moment. Thanks to a NASA invite, I had an up-close look at the Gozar launch at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida last November. It was a perfect launch, and once in orbit, Gozar gets a number instead of a letter. It's now called Goz 16. Let me show you how big a deal this is. The old Goz had only five channels, one invisible light and four infrared channels. The new GO-16 has 16 channels, and here is a picture taken in every one of them. We have a channel that sees visible blue light and red light, but this channel is called the Near IR. We can't see it with our eyes, but it does reflect green vegetation very well. Now, we can do a little trick with this. Now, while we can use this to monitor droughts, we can pretend that's green light, and when we do that, we can get an almost true color image of the planet and here it is the first true color image from the GOES 16 satellite it's pretty amazing isn't it now there are other channels that allow us to see water vapor low and in the mid levels of the atmosphere and way up high and then different infrared channels that allow us to look at temperatures of clouds in different levels when you combine all of this together you can get something that's called an air mass RGB image that shows water clouds, ice clouds, and even different air masses. The new satellite's ability to measure clouds, temperatures, and track winds is very important because we have to tell numerical weather models what the weather is doing right now to make a good future forecast. Weather satellites fill in the data gaps over the oceans and high in the atmosphere, and GO-16 will lead to much more reliable, longer-range forecasts. I've saved the best for last, though. The new lightning detector on GO-16 will see all of the lightning and storms, and in real time. Right now, we can only detect cloud-to-ground strokes, which are not really good severe weather indicators. I was part of a NOAA experiment that showed that when the total storm lightning suddenly increases, the storm often gets much stronger a few minutes later. This should increase tornado and severe storm warning times. The old GOES satellite sent back four images an hour. GOES 16 will send an image every five minutes, and when a big storm is underway, we'll get a high-res local image every 30 seconds. Weather satellites will soon be more real-time than the weather radar on your smartphone. The new era in weather forecasting is here. Now, the new GO-16 satellite is still being tested. I saw some data from it today. It's still being calibrated, but we're probably going to start to see some real-time images, and I'll be able to show them to you late spring, maybe late May. All right. Thank you, Dan. Look sure. forward to it.